you, you, who you gonna call? You know. So again, I'm looking uh, to be a partnership with those who are interested in what I'm doing, and uh, it's a big need, and we need to have those people who've been incarcerated to come back as volunteers, as mentors. You know, they got the experience. Who right now I'm working with a lot of people who got degrees, but got no experience. You know. So again, I thank you for letting me speak. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you both. At this time, we will move to those who have signed up, signed up virtually. Going to start with Devon Marquis Hall, representing the third district. Good evening. Um, this is Devon uh, Marquis Hall, D Marquis Hall, third district, Wilmington, Delaware. I am grateful to be here. I'm grateful to the city for allowing me to speak. I spoke uh, a couple weeks back about the situation that happened with the man who was in need of help, man that was in crisis, 35 years old. He called about, well, he didn't call. The police were called to help him because he, uh, he was trying to kill himself. Um, this is Mental Health Awareness Month, and... You know, the police came and apparently he didn't stop stabbing himself. And apparently he was killed. He was shot. Or we don't have any we don't have any new news about this. We don't know if the police had the body cameras on. I don't know anything about what happened except what was reported from the police. So when I talked about the real-time crime unit and transparency and accountability, that's real. That's needed. That is needed for the public to feel safe, for us to know that we can trust, for, for us to know that we do have a, uh, a police force and a uh, city government that cares enough about our public to make sure that we have the best folks coming to do the job to ensure peace. And with these cameras that we fought to get on to these, these, these people that are trusted and trained and supposedly uh, effective in the right way, we, we need for there to be enforcement on your end as council to make sure that that awareness is there and that communication is there and that we actually have the safety that we seek. And with that, I'll just say, God bless you all. Um, council president, council, have a good night and do what's right. Thank you very much. And just for the sake of clarity, I'm going to allow council member McCoy just to have a few remarks. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Council President. Um, I'm very glad to be able to have a public comment and for people to make certain that we are aware of what they are, uh, I guess, what's on their mind. But to clarify, the gentleman did not, uh, he is not deceased. So I just want to make certain that people are aware the person that uh, Mr. Hall spoke of is not deceased. Okay, thank you. Next we have Christina Kelly from the 2nd District. <laughs> Good evening, and thank you for an opportunity to address the council tonight. Um, I, A, actually wanted to thank council members um, for some of the resolutions that are up tonight. Um, I am very appreciative of you all taking steps to actually help Wilmingtonians. Um, so seeing reduced civil penalties and, um, you know, um, funds being set up to help renters in the city, et cetera, um, is, is a, a, a wonderfully positive thing. Um, and I am beyond ecstatic to see these things finally coming from council. Um, my second comment actually feeds a little bit off of D Mark's comments there um, in that um, while no, the gentleman is not deceased, um, I, I don't think that that takes away from the critical nature of this incident um, in that a mentally ill individual who was suicidal, um, you know, honestly, uh, suicide by cop should not be a thing. 
Um, and it can only be a thing when we have police officers who are honestly out of control. Um, and the first thought is to reach for the gun on our hips. Um, so I would like to see either a resolution come out of council um, that we no longer provide any additional funding for training or purchase of tasers until our officers start going to non-lethal options first. Um, or, and or I should say, um, a resolution from city council urging w, um, WPD to release the body camera footage um, that shows that this man was posing an active risk to the life of the officer um, who posed an active risk to his life. And I thank you for an opportunity to speak tonight. Have a great evening, everyone. Thank you. Next, we have Keandra McDowell representing the 1st District. Okay, thank you. Next, we're going to go back to someone who is in council chambers, Ms. Siobhan Brown, for public comment. You may come forward, please, if you'd like to give public comment. Yes, ma'am. Once you get to the microphone, please introduce yourself right over here to the left. And please be careful when you step up. Sure. Thank you. Yes. Good evening, everyone. My name is Yvonne Brown, and I live in the 1400 block of West 2nd Street. And I just wanted to come up here and express my concern about an incident that I had with the Wilmington police. They ran a stop sign and ran into my, I hit them, but he ran a stop sign. And the officer was really nasty to me. And he gave me a ticket, which I disputed. And I'm very angry about what transpired because I was at the stop sign and the officer that I hit, I was at the stop sign. I stayed there for a long time and I got a ticket for failure to remain stopped. It was a bright day, no overcast or anything. And I hit him, and he didn't have his lights on and no siren. And he asked me, was I okay, did I need an ambulance? And I said, no, I'm really shook up, but I got to use the bathroom. And he asked me where that I live, and I told him at 1408 West 2nd Street. And he asked me that I want him to follow me to my house so I could use the restroom. And I told him, no, you know, I just... Well, when the rest of the cops came, it was like seven SUVs there in less than two minutes. And he gave me a ticket, and he was very nasty to me. And I said, what are you giving me a ticket for? He told me failure to remain stopped. Well, how long I got to stay stopped at a stop sign? It's a three-way stop. And I'm disputing it. And I have a court date, but I'm very angry. Because that, you know, they was wrong. So I'm just saying, you know, that you want to be civil and cooperative when you have contact with the police. But I'm saying when they carry you on like that, I'm saying, you know, what's the point? That's all I have to say. Okay, thank, thank you so very much for sharing. Please be careful when you step down. Council Member White is going to help. Will. And I came up here um, Tuesday because I was under the impression that city council meetings were the first and third Tuesday of every month. Mm -mm. And I came up here on Tuesday, and I was informed that it was Thursday. So I'm a little late, but I just had to come up here and express my... Okay, okay we, we appreciate you. Yes, it's the first and third Thursdays. And we're going to get your contact information before you leave, okay? Thank you so much. All right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, young man. Say that loud. Thank <laughs> you, young man. <laughs> All right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
being here. And it does con 